Well, good day, guys. So, uh, not the nicest of days. So, I'm not fishing today, but uh, what I thought is uh, I might do a bit of a project in the shed. And uh, <laughs> first project is to clean myself up a little bit of room. But uh, what I was thinking today is um, I might dig the lathe out and make an icky jimmy spike pretty easy to do in fact I'll make two I'll make one very basic one um, just to show you how simple it is and uh, then I'll do one on the lathe and put a little bit of extra effort into it I've got some timber I've kept and I've just kept these for um, rehandling tools and that kind of thing these are just um, shorts of timber so that's that's a piece of timber out of uh, out of my gum tree there what else we got? That's um, that's apricot. I'll use that one actually. Uh, that's apricot. Be, that might even be lemon. Yeah, that's lemon. That's out of my lemon tree. Yeah, so I'll use two pieces from an, from the apricot tree. There they are. And for the spike. I have some uh, 145 mil nails, so they're um, yeah, a couple of 145 mil nails. They will be the spike. Anyway, first thing I've got to do is clear a bit of room here, get myself set up, get the lathe set up, and then I'll get into it. Okay, so I'm a little bit better set up now. So what have I got? A uh, couple. Of couple of sticks of uh, timber from the apricot tree and that's about the length I want that's a pretty reasonable handle that one I'm gonna leave exactly how it is all I'm gonna do is uh, drill a hole in it stick a nail in it clean it up there's your icky jamie spike this one I'm just gonna do a little bit more I've got uh, I've got my chisels there for the lathe so I'll, I'll turn the handle to how I want it Got some white oil. I'll put some white oil on the on the uh, handle when I'm finished turning. Grind it to sharpen the nail when it's in. And uh, here's my old lathe. I'll take that head off, set it all up, and uh, start turning. So that's what you'll see next. I'll start turning that timber. Actually, what I'll do is I'll do the uh, the basic one first. I'll show you just how quick and easy it is to do a Nicky Jamie spike. Alright, go over to my drill press here. It's the center point right about there. That's where I'm going to put it. As close to the center as we can. And this is just a pilot hole just to get you started. Shows you how uh, how blunt that drill bit is, or that smoke coming off it. All right, so we got a hole there. Let's get a little bit of glue. And um, just try and eyeball that nail so it's pretty straight. Well, that's, it's going to follow the pilot hole you made anyway, so it's um, pretty much how it's going to go now. Then you get your knock on with it, and you knock it in. Watch out, pup. You don't want to hammer on the scone. And uh, take it easy, because you don't want to split the timber. And you don't want to bend the nail either. Alright, I'm not going to force that anymore because I can feel I'm right on the verge of splitting that timber. And we're almost done. All I'm going to do now is fire up the grinder and sharpen that in. Yeah, obviously you don't want to leave the uh, head of the nail on there, so we'll just sharpen that in. Okay, 
Okay, there you go. Really sharp. One icky Jimmy spike. Ready to go. Nice thing. Got a nice little uh, guard for your finger there. Simple as that. But next one, we'll put on the lathe and we'll turn it and we'll really get going. That's what I'm looking for. And now, we get our centers as best we can. Hmm. That was a little bit off, wasn't it? Let's try that again. Yeah, that's more like it. Alright, let's set up our lathe. It's been a while since I've had the lathe going. And it's uh, it's not the most expensive or the best lathe you can get, but uh, I mean for a backyard guy like me, it's perfect. Set up your guard, nice and close. Lock that into position. Now plug it in and hope it still works. Let's have a look. Yeah, so you can see we're starting to get it nice and clean. I might leave some of the bark on actually, just a, a bit of a feature. Yeah, that's looking good. I'm happy with that so far. Let's um, put a bit of sandpaper on it and see what kind of finish we're going to look at. It's not finished shaping yet, but I just want to sort of have a look. Yeah, that's going to come up a treat. So I'm going to go back a little bit deeper and get that loose bark off, but I want to leave the sum of the bark underneath. So that's pretty much the shape I want. I'm just going to turn those ends over a little so they're not flush, you know, straight ends. I'll shape them a little. And what I'm also going to do is I'll get my wire here and I'll hook that over and that'll burn uh, I'll just burn some gouges into it and that'll give me a bit of a, a bit of a grip Set guard. Do a little bit more final shaping and the sanding, and we should be almost good to go.
There's the There's the nearly finished product. Yeah, nearly finished. Just clean up the ends, put my nail in, and that'll be my spike. Get your knockometer again. Make sure your nail's reasonably straight. And then the same process. Again, try not to split your timber or bend the nail. Hold it. Okay, so that's complete. Um, final step now, I'm just going to get a bit of white oil and uh, put some white oil on it to protect the timber. Get a bit on the, the nail as well, won't hurt it. And there you have it, finished product. So, I'll have a quick tidy up here and uh, show you the finished product. Okay, so there you go, a couple of Vic Edgemo spikes. Uh, that one, just the basic model, hunk of wood with a nail in it. And I mean, you could use anything, you could grind, uh, get an old screwdriver and grind it sharp at one end. I like working with timber, so that was a bit of fun for the Arvo. Took me about an hour. There's the uh, one I put a bit of work into. Yeah, not a bad way to spend a bit of a bit of a rainy afternoon. Um, next shed project is, I'll show you up here to, I've got a few fishing rods up here needing repair and if I can find it, there it is, this one here is my, this is my very first fishing rod, that is about a 1982 Silstar. And what I've got to do, replace, bear with me, I've got to replace the tip, as you often do on old rods, but I'm also going to replace the butt. And that was, uh, that was chewed up by a mate's dog. But I'll replace that, and I'm thinking, I might just get the lathe out again, and do the same trick. So yeah, I might do that for my next uh, next shed video. Don't know when that'll be, but one day. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Tight lines. See you next time.